gonna try to fit my 24 inch BMX bike in my Model 3. I've never tried this before, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna show So unfortunately I wasn't able to get my bike inside of the trunk. I got it pretty damn close, but the wheel and the handlebars poking out a little bit. It's a 24 inch BMX style bike. So if you have like a 20 inch BMX bike, it would probably fit. Um, of course you can take the wheel off, but on my bike it's like, it's uh, kind of hard to get the wheel centered. Um, the forks are kind of messed up, so I don't really feel like messing with it. So I'm moving on to plan B, which is uh, I'm gonna try to just strap strap the trunk down on top of the bike and see what happens. Now, with most cars, you can just like hook it underneath the bumper or onto like a, a bracket underneath the bumper and then onto the trunk. But with this, there's really no place to hook onto the inside of the trunk and no place to hook on underneath the bumper. It's like completely uh, flat underneath the bumper. So really the only way I've, I think I might be able to do it is just to run a ratchet strap from the wheel wells over the trunk. Now, I, so I got I got my ratchet strap here and uh, I wrapped some duct tape around, around the end of it where it's gonna be setting up against the, the wheel well uh, so it doesn't scratch, but yeah, we'll see, see what happens. I don't even know if the car's gonna let me drive down the road with, with the trunk ajar, but we'll see. So I'm all strapped up, got the, the bike hanging out a little bit, the trunk's a little bit open. Now it's not like ratcheted down super tight, you can still move it a little bit, but there's, I just want to keep it from, from flying up while I'm on the road. Then I got ra wrapped a rag around the, uh, the ratchet and then with some duct tape and then the strap's kind of tucked in there. So hopefully that doesn't fly off and I got it hooked to this end right here. About to take off in the Model 3. You can see it says uh, the trunk is opened. And see what happens when I put it in the drive. All right, so this is probably gonna just beep at me the whole time. Alright, so I pushed this trunk open warning, and then it says, uh, proceed with caution, okay. So that's just going to beep the whole time, I guess. Alright, I'm driving to the skate park. It's only been a, it was only about a minute for that beeping noise to go off, so you can drive down the road with your trunk unhooked and it won't beep at you after about a minute. Look, this track sees the guy on the little screen. It was kind of cool. Alright, couple downsides to driving with your trunk strapped down. Uh, you can't actually activate autopilot while the trunk's open. It says, crew's not available. And since I didn't strap my strap down too very tight, there's now a pretty annoying vibration in the in the back of just the strap uh, vibrating on the window. Cool. I think now instead of heading to the skate park, I'm gonna head to a sporting goods store and buy myself a bike rack. Because uh, I don't really feel like doing all of this uh, again on the way home. In 500 feet, turn left onto Glen Echo Avenue. 